Hi Jurassic Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Minchino from Pokemon. So let's get started. To draw this cute chinchilla like Pokemon, let's first start by drawing its eyes. So I'm going to come right here and we're just going to draw a sharper curve right about here. And then we're going to widen it out a little bit. It kind of remind me of seeds for some reason. And then towards the bottom right here, we're going to round it off and connect. So I just want to create two of these shapes right here and we're going to come right next to it, say about right here and draw the same thing. So go up a little bit sharper towards the top and then we're going to widen it out as we come to the bottom. So about right here and here. There. So then we created these two shapes. We're going to come to the top right here and I'm going to draw an oval right at the top. Nice big oval for a highlight. And towards the bottom here, I'm just going to go ahead and draw this curve. So when you're coloring it, this would be where you would put some color in it. And then this part, I'm just going to go shade it in black, just so you can see a little bit better. Or you can make it like a dark gray. There. And so same thing over here, right at this tip area, we're just going to draw this big, oval for a highlight and at the bottom a curve okay so now that my two eyes in i'm going to come in between the eyes and about right here i'm just going to draw this tiny little dot right here and then in between the eyes i'm going to go ahead and just draw this curve that comes down for mouth and right towards the center and then goes right back up there and cap it off and then i'll come above each eye and just draw a soft curve over each eye so now that we have that in let's go ahead and frame the face so I'll come to say about right here, maybe like the center of my highlight, come out a little bit, about right here. And let's do the same thing on the other side. So about right here. With those two dots, I'm going to go ahead and draw the bottom of the face. So I'm just going to kind of follow this curve right here at the eye. Here and here. And then we're going to come down. So about right here. Angle a little bit and come in right underneath the eye. So same thing here. Angle a little bit for the cheek area and then bring it right in. So it's right underneath the eyes. Then from there, we're not going to close it up. Just bring in a little bit more to where the eyes are. And then we'll stop right there. Then from there, we're going to have to draw these awesome ears, right? So they're pretty big. So let's, um, let's come about right here and we're going to imagine if you're using a pencil, go ahead and draw this big curve over the eyes. But because I'm not using a pencil, I don't want to erase. I'm just going to imagine this curve. And so I'm going to have this big ear right over my eye. So I'm just going to say about right here, right over the eye. I'm going to go ahead and start right here. So I give myself a point and this is going to be out. So then I know this is kind of like where I'm going to draw this really big chinchilla like ear. So I'm going to go up nice and high and about right here, round it off. So definitely take a look, step back and adjust your ears as you need, make them bigger or smaller. So there, nice and big. We'll just go with this for now. And then in this area right here, um, let's say about right here. So we're imagining this curve for the head. So about right here, we're going to draw a tuft of fur that's inside the ear. So I'm going to go up right in the center, kind of like that. And then we're going to draw another tuft of fur and bring it in. From there, we're going to come right back into this area, kind of uh, about right here. And I'm going to draw a curve that comes in and tapers into that curve. So we're just creating the inside. So then the right here, we're just going to curve right in there. So we're just creating the shape inside the ear. Then from there, we're just like I said, we're imagining this dome right here in the top. So about right here. 
and go up. And so let's do the same thing on the other side. So we're just gonna come across about right here. Just give myself a point, just like this side, so I know that this is kind of like where the point is. And we're gonna come right back here. Let's go up. Just like the other side. I'm just gonna try my best. And I'll drag this point across. So I just have approximate, let's say about right here. Approximately the same height. And round off the tip and we're gonna bring it right back to here and connect there and then so once again we're gonna draw the same thing so right in the center of this ear say about right here imagine this coming through about right here I'm gonna go ahead and draw the two tufts of fur one and two right inside and then once again we're going to taper curve right in here and then another one there so hopefully i made that a little bit easier for you to follow along and then from there the reason we can't connect right here is because i have to draw this tuff of fur right in the center so about right here i'm going to go ahead draw curve coming in and then we're going to bring one coming out nice and high say about right here and then bring it in and then now we can go finally connect whatever space we have left so hopefully when you're at home you're using a pencil definitely after you've drawn these two curves just draw a curve all the way and then pop in the ears and this tuff of fur just makes it a lot easier okay so now that we have the head let's go ahead and draw the cute little body we're going to come about right here where we stop and then nice and even on both sides and then we're just going to pop out these hands so we're just going to draw a curve about right here round it off this little tip and then bring it in and then come right here we're just going to draw two small little curves Oops, and so same thing right here. Just want to end about the same area, about right here. Let's draw a little curve that comes down. And round off the tip. And then two little curves right here. There. And then for the body, we're just going to come out a little bit. And draw a curve on both sides so nice and even and bring it in so I'm going to skip a little bit of space and then connect at the bottom there so we're uh, skipping a little bit of space for the little feet so come right here and we're just going to draw a curve that brings it in and then two little curves so same thing right here Thank goodness, this part is nice and simple, right? And two little curves. Then from there, um, we still have a tuff of fur right in this area. So one, and there's three curves that we need to draw, and then a shorter one right here. And then we have this long tail we need to add. So um, let's say about right here. Let's go ahead, and we're going to go all the way up nice long tail let's go all the way up to say about right here round it off and then we're just going to bring it down to about right here and i'll stop add more of these curves to bring it in another one and one more and just finish it off and I think there's like a little white tip right here. So I'll just lightly draw a little tip. And I think some of them even have like a little white tip on the ear part, but I'll leave it for now and uh, check it out when I'm coloring it to see if I should add a little white tip on the ear or not. But, oh, and then of course I'm gonna add a little heart right here. 
to make this my draw so cute Manchino from Pokemon. I really hope you'll love my version of this little chinchilla like Pokemon and I made this fun and easy for you to follow along with me. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new draw so cute videos. See you later.